Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, I'm gonna try to use the paintless dent repair kit that I got off of Amazon to try to fix some of these small dents in the focus. Stay tuned. <laughs> Here is the kit that I got off of Amazon. It's this BB King brand. There was a bunch of other ones with, you know, weird names on there. Um, but it was like 50 bucks. It wasn't too bad. It actually came with quite a bit. And I love when things come with a case or a bag just because there are so many parts and pieces and it just helps me to stay so much more organized within the shop and the garage. So um, yeah, let me open this thing up and I'll show you what's inside. This is everything that comes with the kit. So you have this dent puller over here. It's like a little handheld trigger and it just gradually pulls against these little tabs until it pops away from the glue. And then I've got this little bridge tool. I haven't seen too many people using this, um, but if this doesn't work over here, I may give this a shot. I don't know if it's better or worse, but it came with the kit. It comes with the hot glue gun. It comes with these little yellow glue sticks and black ones. I guess it depends on what color your paint is. Um, I don't know why that would matter. Hopefully this glue comes off. I'm gonna be really mad if it doesn't. But then you've got a little spray bottle for, it's, I think it's just for like an alcohol solution or a, like a prep solution. And then you've got a microfiber, microfiber towel, um, this little scrape tool to scrape some of the glue off. And then you have this knockdown tool with all these different sizes and shapes of inserts and then this little hammer to use with the knockdown tool. I'm gonna use this one with the tabs first. So what I'll do is heat the glue sticks in the glue gun, put it on the correct size tab for the dent, put the tab on the dent, and then we will hook this thing up and try to pop it out. Then once I get it, it may take a few, it says it may take a few tries, so you actually have to, you know, gradually keep pulling it back out. So. Once it's out far enough, I will use the knockdown tool and the hammer to just flatten out the edges around it to make it a little bit smoother. Um, but let me show you the dents that I have and then we'll get started. The first one is really tiny, but it is right here. I don't know if you can even, yeah, you can kind of see where the light reflects off of it there. It's really small. This one shouldn't be that big of a deal at all, I'm hoping. And then on this side over here on the back door, are the two dents that I showed before. So there's this one right here, and you can see that there's, the paint is not, there's two little spots right there that's not gonna be, have paint on it. It doesn't bother me really right now, I just really wanna get the dent out, but I may try to repair that later on. And then the one up top up here, this is the one that I'm worried about. It's, you, it's kind of, the paint is kind of, you can kind of see two little spots right there. But this one is creased, and that's what worries me about it because I don't know, it's not just a single dent in, so I don't know how that's gonna pull out. But I'm gonna get started on this side first, and then I will try to do the one on the other side since it is not as big. All right guys, so I've been using this little round one here on the bottom dent and it's working, but it's coming out very slowly. So I wasn't even thinking, I'm like, why am I not doing both of these, both of these at the same time? Because it comes with plenty of these little pullers. And I also found this elongated one and it's the perfect size for that little crease. So I'm gonna do it a couple more times. I'm gonna be doing them both at the same time now and see how it turns out. I've done about six or seven pulls on this thing now. I've been using this little round one on the bottom dent 
nonstop. Like this is the only one I've used and it's actually turned it into like three smaller dents because this one is so, um, it, it pinpoints right there at the center. So I'm gonna, what I've been doing is just hitting those little small dents specifically in those spots and just moving it around. And then the top dent, I've used this long one every single time and it's worked so good. I can't believe, I'm really shocked at how well it's worked. Um, but it's pulled it out and it's actually turned it into two smaller dents as well. So what I'm gonna start doing is still using this little round one um, and I'll probably just alternate it between the two. And then I'm gonna use a couple of these other small flat round ones. So I've got this one that I'm gonna try out and then this one, which is the exact same one as the one I've been using. It's just a little bit bigger, but I think because of the fact that it's curved, I can get it to pinpoint right there in the center on the small dents that I need to get out. So I'm gonna keep doing it. I'll probably do a couple more pulls and show you guys, and I'll let you know how many times I do it, um, what it takes, and then we'll go from there. All right guys, this is just a helpful hint if you're doing this yourself. I was originally using the little scraper thing, that thing right there, to get the glue pieces off. But if you'll just dip some, uh, dip your microfiber towel in some alcohol and just run it behind here and just keep doing it, it'll literally peel this thing. Like you can see what it's doing. And it keeps you from, and it didn't really scratch, the scraper didn't scratch the car or anything, but this is actually, a hundred times easier. So just an FYI. I'm done using the dent puller by itself. I've done it about 15 to 20 times total now on both dents. And this top one came out great. I, I'm really shocked at this top one. It's obviously still there, but compared to what it was, it turned out so good. And then this bottom one down here, there's just a small low point below the natural body line, and there's one small low point right above it. One other thing though that I wanted to point out is I thought there was paint missing here and up here, and there's not. I think that it just because of it being such a tight creased dent, it gave the appearance that there was paint missing, but there wasn't. So I'm extremely excited about that. I wanna use the knockdown tool. I'm gonna order a dent light or a line board Supposedly, it's supposed to help you see where the high points and low points are a little bit better. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I'm going to try to find a cheap one on Amazon, and I will see you guys back in a couple of days when I get it in the mail. All right, guys, so this is the line board. I got it off of Amazon. It was like 30 bucks. It was one of the cheapest ones that they had with a light actually on it. There was a couple of others that were like 15 or 20 bucks, but it was just a reflection board. So this one actually does light up. It has a little plug on one of these sides over here. And then it's just a USB, it's actually an extremely long USB cord that just plugs into the side of it. So I'm gonna get it all set up on the car and then I'll show you what it looks like. This is how I have it set up right now. Basically, from my understanding is the light needs to reflect on the dent in the direction that the dent is going, if that makes sense. So since this dent at the top here was angled out this way, I've kind of got it curved and it works. You can see where it folds in and you can kind of see where it fish eyes. Let's see if I can get a good example. You can see where it fish eyes right there. So that's a low point. And then where these black lines are kind of going in, that's a high point. So what I'm gonna do is use a knockdown tool to just kind of hit those edges around it and then use my dent puller again to pull the center out. And then I will do the same thing with the bottom down dent down here as well. I probably won't keep the light on it while I'm working on it because this body line is really throwing me off and I'm, again, not an expert. Um, and so you can see where it's all waved back right there. And that's just kind of, I don't know, it's, it's messing me up. Um, and again, down here, this body line is probably gonna throw me off. But I may try to show you guys the other side because that dent is on a very, very flat surface. So I may be able to use it a little bit better over there. With this knockdown tool, it does come with a bunch of these different inserts. This is the one that I've picked that I think is gonna work the best. It comes to a very narrow uh, end down here, but it's rounded, so it's not gonna create any extra little small low points. 
So I am going to start off using that one. I'm hoping that's the only one I'm going to have to use, but I may end up going to this one as well. It is flat, but for some of those spots, I think this one may work better. And then the other one that I liked that I think I may use is this one. It does scare me because it is very, um, it, it's harder and I don't want to create any extra low points. But for now, I'm going to use this one. And if anything changes, I will let you guys know. I did about, um, I don't know, four or five, maybe six um, times with the knockdown tool and then doing the dent puller right behind it every single time. And this is the best that I could do. I'm sure it actually did help out even more. Um, and honestly, you could probably sit here for another three, four, five more hours and just keep doing it and finally get it perfect. And I may just play around with it in my free time. But I'm, I'm extremely stoked on how well that it came out. The, 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 cre the crease itself is completely gone. There's just these little high points around it right here. But it's not noticeable hardly at all in person. Um, and then this one down here actually came out really well. If you look at the body line there, I mean, it shoots straight across. Um, there's one small little low point right on the body line. But I don't think that I'm ever going to be able to get that out. Um, but overall, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely excited about it. It worked out really, really well. The other side, I took a before and after picture, so I will show that here in just a second. I wanted to show you guys this on the other side. It actually broke the tab off. I ended up putting a little bit extra glue on here because I watched a video that showed that if you put more glue on there and make it surround the edges, it will actually pull a little bit further before the tab breaks away from the glue and it ended up breaking the tab. So. I don't know, I'm gonna use some alcohol to get this off and we'll see. All right guys, let me show you what that tab did that broke off. It actually pulled the dent out great, but it created a high spot. So you can see where it creates this little kind of hourglass figure, the black lines go into each other. So what I'm gonna do is use that knockdown tool to just kind of flatten that out and it should clear this dent up pretty well. All right guys, so overall, I'm pretty happy with how the dents came out. I wish that I could have gotten them 100%, but I'm not a professional and I'm pretty sure a professional could probably do it. But just so you guys know, the, the, the kit was awesome. The kit that I bought off of Amazon was great. The dent puller worked great. The knockdown tool worked great. The, the light, the little line light that I ordered, I, I shouldn't have even ordered that. It didn't really help me much, not to mention when I tried to use the knockdown tool with it, it kind of threw me off. And I'm sure professionals work with it and they work great with it, but me being just, you know, a, a garage weekend warrior, uh, it didn't work that great. But I'm happy with how the dents came out. And like I said, it's about 80% success. You know, another 20% um, is, is kind of what's probably left in that to get it completely out. But I think that to actually get it fully out of there, I'm gonna have to get behind that panel and actually push. But I'm happy overall, and I will catch you guys next time.